fiction, we never, you know, we never intended it to be cross media or, you know, to sit on many platforms. It was always going to be a feature film. Um, it's directed by a um, writer, director, producer called Matt Hulse. He's British, he's made about 50 short films. His mother used to live on a, in Scotland um, and she found a book in a second-hand bookshop. Um, she thought Matt would like the cover. So the cover is um, just a picture of James Duffy in a pair of cycling shorts leaning on a bicycle in 1952. And the book is called I Cycled Into the Arctic Circle. Um, so the film is based on his story. Um, he was deaf and mute. Um, and he wrote a journal that is all about the people that he met along the way. The website actually started as our research and development and that's something that I would say is kind of lacking in filmmaking, I think. It's prevalent in other industries like advertising. You test out your, your story on the audience. You know, you want to see if there's a market, you know, to be quite crass about it. So the website's actually grown into an entity of its own. Um, originally, so this is before Facebook or Twitter or any of the social media channels, we just had a forum, like a little tab that you could click on. Um, and we found that people would start asking questions, either about James Duffy or about his story. Um, we never really highlighted it was going to be a film. Um, initially and we started to have a conversation with our audience but actually people were writing to James Duffy so we decided there was best to answer as him. You know everything's told in his voice so any all of the platforms are kind of you know part of his story his voice and they all connect together um, but you know the uh, website's become quite interactive we used it as a shop um, we started to sell merchandise, it helped us make the film.